What up, YouTube? So, I have literally just woken up from a nap. The time's probably about five past four. Maybe even ten past four. Yeah. I've had literally a banging headache. It it feels like it's in the process of becoming a migraine because I've had this for a couple of days now. And my head feels like it's on fire. Like, literally banging through my eyes is the only way I can explain it. Don't judge me. Anyway, moving on swiftly. I've had a very unproductive day today. I was meant to get my nails done, which I haven't got done. Meant to get my eyebrows done, which I also haven't done. And I'm meeting my cousin later today, which I'm so excited to see her because I have not seen her for ages. We're going to a vegan restaurant in Notting Hill called Pharmacy. Oh my God, guys, like literally this restaurant, the food is absolutely amazing. I cannot stress to you amazing and you know obviously i love food <laughs> so yeah i need to get ready for that i need to jump in the shower try to do something with my hair only god knows what i'm gonna do with my hair fling some makeup on and then i will be out here so yeah oh also i forgot how can i forget tomorrow i have the most exciting day planned oh <gasps> so exciting i'm also very very nervous but super excited at the same time so i'm driving up to bath takes about maybe just over two and a half hours on a good day with no traffic from London to Bath because Lauren Tickner and L Darby have arranged like a meet up, a fitness meet up. So I'm going to meet them and I'm also hoping to meet loads of lovely other people, like-minded people. It's gonna be a wicked day. Like I literally cannot wait. So, so excited and so anxious at the same time. Oh my God. But yeah, then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day in Bath. So I will, take you guys with me obviously um and i'll also try to take you guys with me to the restaurant today but i cannot lie like it makes me so anxious the thought even just the thought alone of like vlogging outside of my house <laughs> so that's gonna be a task but we're gonna just try to break that barrier um and yeah i will try to vlog the dinner today and what i'm eating and bring you guys up to bath with me and it's gonna be a super nice couple of days. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you next clip. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm just wearing a torn jumper from New Look, I think it is. Blue jeans, white trainers, and I'm off to be kind of
mind. Everyone else is finished. Anyway, we're in discussion. So, when you get to the bottom, you have a little sip. Mix it all the time. That would be like my worst nightmare. It's all Apparently, he likes to dip his toast in his tea. Who does that? Who does that? Yeah, but when you drink your tea, you don't know if there's a good pump, and then you, you taste it. It makes you feel sick. It makes you feel sick. Do you dunk your biscuits? Yeah, we dunk biscuits. We don't. Yeah, so do biscuits. No, yeah. like so biscuits. No, don't put money. 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 No one dips in bread in their tea. As soon as you dip the biscuit on hot tea, it's soggy, no? But why bread? You're actually just the biscuits, I guess there's every single biscuit can pass. Except for chocolate biscuits. Chocolate biscuit I can't have milk. I can't eat chocolate biscuits. I can't have milk. Coffee. Okay, I'm in my bag of time. I've got tagliatelli. What do you get, Shashi? The Mexican chicken roll. Mexican herbal. It looks delicious. What did you get, Nate? Got the curry. How's it taste? <laughs> <laughs> it's his first time doing vegan, so we'll get an update. I'm back to my camera's dying though, so hopefully we we'll get the dessert. Morning, guys. So, it's about 6.30 in the morning. <sighs> Today I'm going to bath. Yes, I wasn't able to finish off the vlog because as I said, the battery in my camera was going to die and it fully did die. Um, but I didn't actually end up getting a dessert anyway. I think only Nathan did. I think he just got like a chocolate brownie sort of dessert. I'm not really into chocolate, so. And also, actually, I haven't been there in such a long time. They didn't actually have the dessert that I wanted that I had the last time, which was absolutely amazing. Oh my God. I was very gutted. So, obviously, I've just woken up, hence why I possibly might look like a frog and my face is very swollen but anyway um i'm gonna start getting ready from now because i got a busy day ahead of me obviously today's day i go to bath to meet the girls l darby and lauren tickner and loads of other fitness people people into fitness i can never seem to get my sentences out right especially in the morning and i've had a coffee so i should be like raring to go anyway so I can't wait to take you guys along with me. It's going to be an amazing day. Last night was amazing. Today is going to be amazing. So, um, just to add, so obviously I did mention yesterday that I was super anxious about vlogging in public. And it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Like, I'm really surprised. Um, because I really do suffer from, like, really bad anxiety and anxiety attacks. Like, to the point is. Sometimes I feel like it holds me back. It holds. Ugh, should I get it right? It holds me back in life when I want to do certain things. So I don't know if that's because I was with other people, or yeah, I don't know what it was. But it was actually really, really, really enjoyable. And obviously, if I'm vlogging for you guys, like I need to be able to bring really good content and like a variety of different things. So hopefully, if you like this vlog, there'll be more like this. I'm so glad I've like broken that barrier like I'm really proud of myself it sounds really ridiculous but yeah like it yeah I had so much fun like vlogging in public I sound like a child that's just like had their first tweet <laughs> but anyway um but I don't want to underestimate like how today might be because I am still super nervous don't get me wrong um but I think it was probably a good job that I have broken that barrier before going to my first meetup because only God knows what today could be like for me. I'm not saying the event's not going to be good. I'm saying for me personally within myself, you know. But yes, on that note, I will see you guys in the next couple of clips.